We're so glad you decided to join us for this week's worship experience. Your praise will ever be on my lips. Kendon, you sound so beautiful. Thank you so much. You're I'm welcome. just practicing the way that I worship the Lord. Well, it's a good thing you stopped in today because today we're learning about worship and how Paul and Silas worship the Lord. Oh, well, I'm so glad I decided to stop by. I wonder if there's more ways to worship the Lord than just singing. Well, if you stick around, you may learn a thing or two. All right, cool. Yeah, it is. Well, hey, Judah kids, let's open our hands and invite Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we thank you for today. We pray that you would help us to learn everything that we would need to know about worship and about you. And we thank you for it in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Judy kids, it's time for our word declarations. Can everybody stand up and repeat after us? I am who God says I am. I am who God says I am. I am wonderfully made. I am wonderfully made. I am full of purpose. I am full of purpose. I am strong and courageous through Christ. I am strong and courageous for Christ. I'm a king's kid. I'm a king's kid. Hey, Judah kids. It's time for a game. This week, we're going to be playing Did You Hear That Sound? Worship Edition. We want you guys to guess which instruments match with which sound. Are you ready, Judah kids? Hmm, do you guys hear that? Wait, is that a... You're right, it's a piano. Good job, Judah kids. Huh. Well, wait. Oh, it's the drums. You guys are so good. kids. Well, wait. Hmm. <laughs> You're right. It's the trumpet. Good job, Judy kids. You guys are doing so well. What is that? Is that a violin? Great job, Judy kids. I hope you had so much fun. Bye. We've come here to worship God today. But what is worship? Worship is more than just singing songs. We sing songs for lots of reasons. Worship is more than just telling God he's good. We call lots of things good. Worship is more than praying or reading the Bible or trying to be nice. Worship happens when someone says, because you've given me everything, God, I'm giving all of me to you today. And then they do. Now let's tell God he's good, and let's sing some songs to him, and let's give him all of us as we worship him today. The house is so simple, faith like a child, I give you an inch and you take me a mile, I feel the wind rush and the thunder roll.
tries to shake me, I just pray harder Even in my darkest hour, got Holy Ghost power When I keep my eyes upon you, Jesus, I'm a wave walker I'm a wave walker, I'm dancing on water When the devil tries to shake me, I just pray Thick Theater, Paul and Silas. This is Paul, oh, hey. who told people about Jesus in lots of different places. One day, Paul was walking with his friend Silas. Hey, yo. They were being followed by a girl who was controlled by an evil spirit. Her owners used her to make money. After days and days of this happening, Paul got so annoyed that he turned around and told the evil spirit to leave her. So the girl was free. But her owners got mad at Paul and Silas because they wouldn't make any money off of her anymore. And they had them thrown in jail. The jailer locked them up. Oh man. 
Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing to God, and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was an earthquake, and the chains of all the prisoners fell off. Oh, what just happened? But Paul and Silas didn't leave, even though they could have. Several people decided to follow Jesus that night, including the jailer and his whole family. And the next morning, they were released from jail, and the city officials even apologized to them. Sorry about that. Paul and Silas encouraged the Christians in the town, and they continued on their mission to tell people about Jesus. See ya! Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my... Hey, Kenan, what's up? Oh, hey. Nothing much, just worshiping the Lord. That's awesome. But did you know there's so many other ways that you can bless the Lord? Wait, what do you mean? Well, you can bless the Lord when you're hanging out with your friends, when you're talking with your family, and while you're singing. Really? Yeah. Is there a scripture for that? Yeah. It's Psalms 34.1. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Whoa, I never thought about it like that. Do you think that you could teach me? Of course. It starts like this. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. At all times. At all times. And his praise. And his praise. Shall continually. Shall continually. Be in my mouth. Be in my mouth. Great job. Let's do it all together now. I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Great job! Bye, Bye Judah kids! Hey, Judah kids. It's craft time. Grab your parent or guardian and ask for them to print out this week's craft sheets. This week, you get the chance to pick between one of the two craft sheets that we've provided for you. Ours looks something like this. Don't have a printer? No worries. You get to create your very own picture about what worshiping God means to you, or even just what it looks like. We did something like this. When you're all done with that, let us see. Take a picture and post on any of our social media sites. We hope that you had a fun time. Bye, Judah kids. You guys did awesome, Judah kids. Yeah, I'm so glad that I got to learn new ways to bless the Lord. And you did awesome, McKendon. Speaking of learning, did you learn this week through memory verse? Yes, I did. And actually, it's been helping me so much. That's so cool. Well, hey, Judah kids, let's do it all together. So Psalm 34.1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Great job, Duda kids. Well, hey, Kendon, we want to give you one more thing before you go. Oh, really? What is it? Yeah, it's our Judah Kids Encounter Guide. It'll help you bless the Lord even more. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, actually, one more thing before we go. What's that? Um, can I tell you a joke? <laughs> sure. Okay. What do you call a kitchen utensil that just doesn't stop singing? What? A spatula. Oh, Kendon. <laughs> Bye, Judah Kids.